Well, this is Steve Ridgell, and I spend a lot of time uh, talking to people about marriage and getting married and their kids getting married and who they're dating. And just because that's a, a big part of life and people talk about it. And so sometimes they want spiritual advice about things. Now, we all know parents don't pick kids' mates. It just doesn't work. Once in a while, you hear this story of, boy, they, were, they grew up together and they fell in love. I, okay, it, it happens. But most of the time, we're watching our kids choose their mate. And because I live in a college town, we see a lot of that. We're always announcing engagements and marriages and celebrating newlyweds, all that kind of thing. So in 2 Corinthians 6, you've got that famous passage from Paul where he says, Do not be unequally yoked with non-believers. Now, he's pretty harsh about it. I mean, God, boy, the Holy Spirit inspired Paul to be real blunt even to the point of, of what kind of fellowship does does God have with idols. And man, he is strong about, about what a bad thing that is. Now, he doesn't specifically tie that to anything. So I guess you could say, well, clearly what Paul meant, because after all, today in America and in 2024, we certainly know what Paul meant. We, we could argue he meant in business. Don't, don't get in a business relationship. Or, or maybe he means don't, don't, get married to, or, okay, I don't know all the things. I just know this. Believers don't need to be in close relationship with non-believers. Now, it happens to your family, and oddly enough, Paul addresses that several times in several letters. Uh, Peter addresses that in one of his letters, how when one member of the family is a Christian and others are not, how you deal with that. But I want to talk a little bit about, about the unequally yoked and how it does apply, I think, to marriage. Let me just be real blunt. In my opinion, Christians never need to marry non-believers. Well, you can't say that because you can't control who you fall in love with. Sure you can. I mean, I know, listen, I listen to my granddaughter, I listen to my grandsons, and I'm going to tell you, there are just certain kinds of people they rule off right off the bat. I've got one granddaughter that likes tall people. If you're a short guy, good luck with her. I know others that say, you know, if they don't like sports, hey, I get it. I, I, there are things just that draw you to other people. And then you say, well, I know he doesn't believe. They don't believe in Jesus. But when we get, you know what? You may convert your mate, and that'll be great. But I was also reading in Deuteronomy when Moses is talking to the people and they're taking the land God's promised them. And they go in and, and Moses says things like this. Do not let your sons marry their daughters. Do not let your daughters marry their sons because when you do that, they will cause your children to chase after other gods. <laughs> you know, I, I don't understand how we can all say, you know what, the most important thing to me in the world is Jesus. But I'm going to marry this person who really isn't bought into Jesus because, you know, I mean, it's just marriage. Who cares if we're alike on You'll not marry somebody over a sports team or over uh, all sorts of things, but you will over Jesus. D don't yoke yourself with somebody that doesn't share what you say is the most important thing in your life. Or be real honest and say, hey, Jesus is important, but not near as important as this person. Just be honest. Now, if you want more examples, think about Samson who chased the wrong woman all the time. You know, I, I don't, I'm not smart enough to understand everything, but I do know this. When believers marry non-believers, it makes it harder to live their faith. It is hard to raise your children to be faithful. So if you really care about Jesus, date Christians. God will bring you a mate when the time's right. Well, this is Steve Ridgell, and you may ignore all this, but the Bible sure does seem to think it's a big deal.